there guys! I have not filmed a sit down video in what seems like forever <laughs> but I'm here and I'm filming one. Um, I got back from Disney Cruise and Disneyland um, ooh, about three weeks ago now and um, so I'm finally sitting down and I'm gonna film um, a haul video mainly so that I can unpack everything so I've kind of left it in bags until I got this sorted and finished and done. Um, so the first video that I'm going to do is my Disney Cruise Line haul. I think there's something that's on there. Oops. There we go. Mm. Yeah, so the first video that I'm going to do is my Disney Cruise Line haul. Um, so I'm filming that now and then I'm going to film a fish extender like haul and also just kind of experience and what I thought of it. That'll probably be the next video after this one. Um, and then I'm also going to film a Disneyland haul but that won't be coming out until after my Disneyland vlogs so if you haven't already watched my Disney Cruise Line vlogs then go back and watch those please um it was good I'm glad I actually vlogged probably for like the first time ever um it still wasn't like the best vlogging <laughs> but I did some and I did it every morning and every night so at least I explained some of what was going on every day um so yes yeah, so I filmed our five night um, cruise we went from San Diego down to Mexico so there's vlogs from that which should now all be up um, and then after this there'll be a fish extender and then I think after the fish extender there will be the Disneyland vlogs which includes Halloween party um, and some like dining package reviews as well and then after that I will then post my Disneyland haul I think um, although that's going to be really after Halloween and quite a lot of this is I got it's Halloween -y, but it's fine. Just not that much Halloween stuff actually. So yeah, I'm gonna film those. Um and I hope you've enjoyed watching the vlogs if you have. If you haven't then please go check them out. Um and yeah, so let's go through everything that I got on our Disney cruise. There isn't loads, like it won't be that long a video. Um I've already been chatting for like two minutes, but whatever. Um so the first things that I got were actually before I boarded the cruise. Um, and they're not really Disney Cruise Line related, but I thought I'd shoot them now. Um, I, this is kind of the best place I could think of to kind of fit them in to a whole video. And they are two of the Starbucks Bean There series. Um, if you watched any of my older hauls, you'll know that I've bought quite a few of the You Are Here collection series. I am really upset that they've changed it to the Bean There series, but I still think they're a nice little memento, so I've still bought them. Um, so the first one that I got, it's not that one, it's this one, um, and this is the Los Angeles one. So when we flew um, from the UK, we flew into Los Angeles. So I got this one um, from, um, we got it, actually got it from the Walk of Fame, um, like the Starbucks that's there. Um, and they've changed the design, so if you can remember what the old design was like, it was all quite... Um, I suppose basic in the design but I quite liked that like it was like block colours and block buildings and but I, re I really did like that these ones are a lot more like um illustrations um but lots of stuff that kind of like represents each city so obviously LA so you've got Hollywood and um, City of Angels, sunglasses, volleyball, roller skates I guess like Venice Beach and stuff you got a lot of wave yeah a wave and a coffee cup, I don't know, and then that looks a bit like the um that the museum with all of the I can't think what it's called. Lamco? I don't know. Um I've never been there. And like surfboards and things like that. So they are still really cute and I do still like them. I just wish that I'd been able to collect more of the UI hair mugs. So I got this one from LA. I think these are about oh, 12.95. Um so I don't think they're too bad. $13 each um, and then obviously with a bit of tax on top but I do think they're a nice little collection and they're the sa same size and design like basic mug design of the you are here so they will kind of fit together just not quite um, and the second one that I got is San Diego so San Diego is where our cruise actually departed from and um, I got this the morning before we actually got on the cruise we got up well I got up really early we were still really jet lagged and we went down and watched the Disney Wonder actually um, go into port. Is that the right term? I don't know. Watched it go into port. Um, so we were down there at like half five in the morning. It said on the port 
um, website that it was going to come in at 5.45. It didn't actually get in until probably like 6.30, maybe even 6.45. So that was a little bit wrong. <laughs> um, but I was awake anyway, I was awake since like 3, so that was fine. Um, so the San Diego one, again, is the same design. It's got like lots of little illustrations which represent the city. Um, so you've got seals. We didn't actually see any seals, but yeah, seals, um, bikes. What else have we got? Like the pier. That's not the pier, but the pier. Um, trees, horses. I don't really get. And again, a coffee. Do they all just have coffees on them? Because it's Starbucks. I don't know. Um, surfboard again. Palm trees. You've got that big bridge that they've got. And then kind of like um, America's finest city. Um, and then you've got like um, a plane. That's not the right word, but like they've got like the whole the big like army base, navy base, whatever it is, um, in San Diego as well. So I guess that's for that. So that's for those two mugs that I got, and then I actually got on the ship. Um, so a couple of free things that we got. Um, so I got my uh, Silver Castaway Club lanyard, same as I got last time. So I'm not going to show that again. And um, if you watched my last tour, you'll have seen it on there. Um, from the cruise that I went on in 2016 um, and we got a couple of other like free bits and bobs um, same as the last few cruises we got the Pirates of the Caribbean or Pirates in the Caribbean even though this one wasn't in the Caribbean but Pirates in the Caribbean like headscarf, bandana, whatever you want to call it um, I wore it around my wrist this time and they just kind of put get put in your stateroom um, on pirate night so if you haven't got a costume you can still kind of get into the theme of things. The other thing that we got were Mardi Gras beads. We got these from um, Tiana's place on the like, Mardi Gras night that they do. Um, so you got given like little beads to wear during your dinner which I thought was so cute so I just kept those as well as like a little memento keepsake thing. And then my mum also ordered a drink and she got this like bracelet around her glass. It's like again a little like Mardi Gras colours bracelet which I thought was quite cute so again kept that. I also got some ears on the cruise. I got these. These are the Disney Cruise Line ears. Um, they've got like a big puffy bow on them with um, anchors and um, what are they, life rings. And this bow is actually the same as like if you meet Minnie Mouse when she's in her like um, nautical costume, she has this bow. So it matches. So I'll put these on. And I just, I just like them. They're cute. The bow is a bit big. <laughs> I was having like a discussion with the cast members when I bought them. The bow is a little bit puffy. Um, but it is cute, I do like it. I'm glad I got them. And I only wore them once on the ship, but I've got a cruise coming up in 2019, so I will definitely be taking these back with me and making use of them on the cruise. There's actually one more free thing that I got that I forgot about. Um, so we got these. These are little key rings, um, Disney Cruise Line key rings. We got these um, kind of as a gift from one of the other teams who were doing a quiz. It was TV tunes trivia, um, but literally every single um, TV tune was an American show from like ages ago, like one that probably wasn't very popular in the UK. Um, the lady who was like running the activity was called Jo, she's amazing, she's from London. Um, and she was like, guys, you are not gonna do well. Um, she's like, I think you'll probably get about six out of 25. So we're like, oh, okay. Um, but in the end we managed to get 10 points, so go us and um, there were a few like newer ones which I had watched which helped and a couple of older ones which my mum recognised. So the team that actually won, they'd won before and they'd already got these key rings so they actually gifted us them um, as just like uh, well done for not doing as badly as everyone thought you were going to do I guess. So me and my mum got one of these each. The next few things that I got were from um, Mexico. So these were from Carbo. So I got this little like skull, ceramic skull. I just thought it was dead cute and it reminded me of Coco a little bit. Um, and I like like the blue and the white design. It's got like a cute little flower on the back of the skull. Yeah, and I just thought it was nice and I loved Coco, so I got it. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I've got this now. <laughs> and the other couple of things that I got, well, I got this little scrunchie. Um, I think this was like a dollar maybe. And it just looked like, I just like the colours and the design on it. And then this little coin purse as well, which I think was maybe about $2. Um, just like an embroidered little purse. I just thought it was like a cute little coin purse. Um, and yeah, so I got these 
these two little things as well. And then I got a bit more cruise line merch, but not loads. Um, so I got a couple of pins on the cruise. So I got the 2018 Mexico cruise line pin. So that's like a cruise, spe spe I can't say it, cruise specific pin um, for that actual itinerary, which I haven't seen before. Um, I've only ever done Bahamian cruises before, but I've never actually seen like a specific one. Oh no, it's got a pen mark on it. Oh no. And it says um, Disney Wonder at the top. But yeah, there's a, there's a pen mark there. I didn't notice when I bought it. So that might have been me during transit. And this was $16. Everything on the cruise, I think, is tax free. Um, yeah, so these were $27.99. Which at the time I thought was them trying to like trying to incorporate tax, but then when I actually got to Disneyland, I realised they've just raised the price of the um, ears. So yeah, this was twenty seven ninety nine, and I wish I bought more ears on the cruise now because I didn't buy them, thinking that they were charging a little bit more. And I was like, oh well, twenty five ninety nine plus tax is probably about the same, so I'll just get them from Disneyland. And then I got to Disneyland and realised they were twenty seven ninety nine plus tax now. So what are you gonna do? Hopefully they'll have some on the European cruise. And I can buy um, the ones that I wanted to get then, like the millennial pink ones and uh, all the way to the Halloween ones. I'm not going to be able to get those, but um, the millennial pink ones definitely. Um, but I didn't actually end up buying any from Disneyland this year. Just stuck with what I did take a lot of pairs with me though, to be fair. So, so yeah, anyway, Mexico, <laughs> Mexico pin, got that one. And then I also got a Halloween on the high seas pin, um, as we were doing a Halloween on the high seas cruise. And it's got the pumpkin tree, which is in the lot. Oh, it's not focusing. Focus on it. Oh, oh, there we go. Kind of. So it's got the pumpkin tree, which is in the lobby of the cruise ships. I think all four cruise ships have the exact same tree. Um, so that's the tree. And then it's also got like a little like silhouette of the cruise ships with like bats and stuff and a big moon. And then it just says Halloween on the high seas. Did it say the year? No, the pin doesn't say the year, but the packaging does. So I'm guessing it's the, oh, it's still not focusing. Focus! Okay. Oh, oh, kind of. Mm, yeah. Um, so that's a 2018 there. Uh, you can't, no, it's not focused at all. It's still on my face. Um, so yeah, so the pin itself doesn't say 2018, but the packaging does. So the pin's probably the same every year. And this was 16.99. Probably as it's a, it's just like a special, I don't know, one. Um, slightly more than the Mexico one, but whatever um so i've got a couple more bits and bobs i got these <laughs> so i saw did i get this one first no i got this one first i got them both um so i saw this one outside the um deck five theater um, and i was like oh it's like a stein i shouldn't know um, I was like, oh, um, Disneyland is selling the green one this year, but I don't think they're selling the red one. I really want the red one. So I went over and asked how much it was, and it was eight seventy five, I think. Um, they like add gratuity, gratuity, I can't say it. Because it comes with a drink, they add gratuity onto it of like 15%. So I think it worked out at like nine seventy or something with the gratuity. Gratuity, I can't say it. Gratuity, gratuity. Yeah. So 9.70 or something, or 9.50, I can't remember, I'm in total, which I thought was pretty good. It came with a can of Diet Coke as well, which if you don't know, on the Disney Cruise Line, you get your drinks for free as long as they come out of like these soda fountains, which are either at Cabanas or up on deck 9 or 10, depending on which cruise ship you're on. Um, so there's like free soda fountains there, but if you actually want like a can, whether from room service or from um, like preludes outside of the theatre or outside of the movie theatre, um, you have to pay for that. So it was eight eight seventy five, I think, including a can of Diet Coke, which was which was good. Um, so I kind of kept the cans, and then I think I drank one. This one I got before watching Frozen. So I got the drink in that, like I had the drink inside that one and drank it in Frozen. And this one I just cut the can separately and then kept it in the fridge in the room and then I ended up having it when we were driving from San Diego to Disneyland. So yeah, so I got these two. I just think they're cute. And then this like white section on them glows in the dark as well. 
Um, I think I'm going to try and get some like um, those tea lights that aren't real tea lights um, and put those inside and then like for how they can be like Halloween decorations or if I have a go to a Halloween party I might just take these to drink out. Um, but yeah I think they're dead cute and I just like the design on them. And the last piece of Disney Cruise Line merchandise that I bought was this. A spirit jersey! I love spirit jerseys. Um, so this was my third spirit jersey purchase. So I've got two from Walt Disney World that I got last time. I got the like coral pinky, bright pinky coloured one and the Christmas one when I went to Walt Disney World last year. And I knew I wanted a Disney Cruise Line one. So this is um, white with blue navy stripes and it has the Cruise Line logo there and then along the back it says Disney Cruise, Ooh. Disney Cruise Line. Um, I got it in a medium because that's the size I got my ones in last year but this one is so, it's really big, like it's really long and the size long as well, um, like it feels bigger than the ones from last year did. Don't know if it's just, I don't, I don't know what it is about it that makes it feel bigger. So the other two that I got when I went to Disneyland, I actually got in a size small. Uh, I'm not sure if they've just got bigger. I've definitely not gotten any smaller. <laughs> um, but I think maybe my pink one that I wear quite a lot that I've been wearing since I got it last December, maybe it's just shrunk a bit in the wash. So that's why I'm, I just didn't think it would be so big. Um, but to be fair, they didn't have any, they only had medium in this. That was the smallest size they had. Um, I think it's quite quite a pop popular one and they only had like two size mediums as well on the ship so yeah I bought this went to the shops as soon as they opened to make sure I could get one in a decent size and my mum got one as well she got the navy one I think just it's just plain navy and then like all of the writing and everything's in white um, and that one's really cute and that's in a small so I can we still have them too <laughs> um, and then when we go next year I might get a different coloured one because they had one in the same colour that I've got I'd like them to do in like a little in the green that they used to do like the mint green that would be nice but yeah that is everything that I actually bought on the Disney Cruise Line um if you like this video please like and subscribe if you haven't watched my vlogs please check them out um I think there is a lot of a lot more content in them than I usually do and <laughs> so please have a look um and next week hopefully will be my fish extender video so be sure to check that out if you haven't done fish extender before or if you just want to see what I got from um the fish, ex fish exchange so yeah um thanks for watching and I will see you guys later bye <laughs>